session has been like today? It's been great. You know, obviously, when you have media day, you know, basketball season's right around the corner. And for our guys, you know, our first true test uh, comes this Sunday against Bellarmine in exhibition. And then uh, before you know it, uh, we'll be battling Nickel State on November 8th. So um, the start of basketball season is right around the corner. And, uh, you know, we've used this time over the summer and early fall to really try to uh, learn personalities, gain relationships with the guys uh, on our team and in hopes that we could build a, a trust between coaching staff and players and try to get to the point where terminology becomes consistent and becomes instinctive for our guys and uh, you know, really try to build towards uh, a season, hopefully one that we'll remember for a while. Chris, you've seen quite a bit in your collegiate career. What's been your impression over the last couple of months of this change in leadership in Louisville? Well, I think it's been a positive one. I think so much has been you know, talked about about our program over the last year, two years, that uh, you know hasn't put Louisville basketball in, in the greatest of light. But the players I have on our team and, and the ones in the locker room that I coach every day are, are high character guys and guys that I've really enjoyed coaching and being around and um, you know we've got a lot of work to do and I think they'd be the first to to tell you but um, I think the willingness to improve and the willingness to learn has been uh, has been really good and it's been a very enjoyable uh, ride so far and we're looking forward to a very uh, productive season in one of the toughest leagues if not the toughest league in all the country. Athletic directors talk about having a 100-day plan when they take the chair administratively. Did you have a 100-day plan? Did you have a 120-day plan? Was there a process of months or weeks that you had going into it? I had a one-day plan, and that was figure out what, what I needed to do that next day. And You know, you get thrown so many different things, and you're trying to do them all at the same time. You know, from hiring a coaching staff to um, – learning your, your personalities of, of your players and their families, just learning your way around the city and the school and who you need to lean on. And so there, there's, there's a ton of stuff that's thrown at you. It's, it's old hat in a way because it's what you did at your previous stop, but it's in a whole new, in a whole new place. And so it's been, a, it's been a, a quick transition. The, the six months have flown by, but uh, it's been a great one at the same time. DJ, what are your impressions of the new staff of this new era that uh, is starting to unfold for Louisville basketball? Uh, I thought they've they've done a great job um, up to this point. I feel like we've established a, a totally new culture, and like uh, like Coach Mike said, it's been in a positive force, and I think we're we're headed in the right direction. Christian, same question of you. Your impressions, and you're not allowed to say same thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> The, the coaching staff has been great. You know, they, they came in right away and, and they started establishing a new culture. I mean, they're, they're different from what I've been accustomed to, but uh, they've done a great job and, and we're looking forward to a great year. Coach, in putting together your coaching staff, how much of the assembly of the staff was based on your personality, that of the school, that of the league? As you put it together, how strategic did you need to be? I don't worry about all that. I want people that I can trust, uh, people that I've had established relationships with, that know how to coach the game of basketball, and that are high character people. So uh, it wouldn't matter if I was coaching the ACC or the MEAC. Uh, I, I want the same thing. And so I brought with me Luke Murray and Mike Geese, who've been on the staff for several years uh, at Xavier. Uh, I hired Dino Gaudio, who was uh, probably covering this event a year ago. and. Uh, was a guy that coached me at Xavier and, and I've had the utmost respect for over the years. And uh, all the administrative guys that are on my coaching staff, uh, I view the same way. I want them to be high character people uh, that I can trust. And I think that's the most important thing. Christian uh, says in the media guide that you have been elected a team captain along with BJ. What does it mean to be a captain? Uh, it means a lot. Uh, it just shows that my teammates, you know, hold me at a high standard, and they felt like I was capable of leading them this year. So it, it meant a lot to me, and 
each day I come to work, I, I keep that in mind, you know, with the decisions I make and, and you know, how diligently I go about my work each day. VJ, is there a pressure in being a captain? Uh, I wouldn't say pressure. I think the word that we use would be more of a responsibility. Kind of piggyback off what, uh, what CC said, just just having that in mind that our teammates did choose us as captains and to keep that in the back of our minds when we come every day, we go to class every day, we come to workouts or whatever it is that we do that our teammates are always looking up to us and that we are that example to set for them. And so we have to be at our best even when we may not be. But um, you know, it's, like I said, it's, it's, it's been a great honor up to this point. Coach, you met, uh, mentioned exhibiting against Bellerman this upcoming weekend. Um, is the team ready for its first game? We had a coach earlier to say that we're almost ready, but we're not quite there yet. What's your status at this point? Uh, regardless of whether we're ready or not, I think it's it's needed. I think players feel like they could go two or three practices and our right, coach, we're ready to play. And I think coaches need three or four or five months to start their first game before they play their first game. So. Uh, it is what it is. I think we'll learn a lot from it. I think every experience that you have, both positive and negatively, you learn from it. Uh, if you don't, you're not getting better. So I'm excited to see uh, how Sunday plays out, but we still have some practices to go prior to that. But uh, that'll be a good uh, measuring stick of the things that we need to get better at. Left side of the room, we'll go to the very back with the hand in the air. Alfonso Ellis, ESPN. Chris, uh, your first year at Xavier as head coach was my first year at ESPN, and of course I was in the A-10 at that time, so got a chance to know the DNA of your, your teams very well. How much offensively and defensively, and I know you may not have the personnel that you had established at Xavier, but how much of your offensive and defensive philosophy should I plan on seeing this year? Well, I'd like to think that defensively we'd be very similar. You know, we, we brought the same belief and the same style of play uh, and the same terminology that we used at Xavier all those many years uh, because it's what our staff's most comfortable with. I feel like you can, you can win on the road uh, with that style. You can win against the best teams with that style. Um, it relies on being together. It relies on communication. It relies on toughness. Offensively, we'll, we'll be a little different than Louisville teams of the past. I think uh, offensively, a good coach puts his players in the best position to be successful. And, uh, you know, a year ago, if I would have taken Louisville uh, basketball, I'd have probably coached offensively a little different because of the personnel they had. But we're not last year's team. And so, uh, you know, we don't have a plethora of five men. So we're going to have to be a little bit unique with how we play. And, uh, you know, I think our guys are, are getting better every single day. As long as we play the right way, by that I mean playing together, making the correct decision, making the correct pass. I, I think you can be successful offensively, but you know, plays from one year to the next will be tweaked and changed just depending on you know, who we have on our team and what they do well.